Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. 72 Corvette Mako Shark Edition. All right, so this is kind of cool because keep in mind, 1968, right? So the 67 Corvette, uh, they built a little longer because the 68s were delayed coming out. Um, so, uh, so you get into something of a completely new body style on the Corvette, which is a big deal. You know, the Corvette is the halo vehicle for, uh, for GM. And uh, so out comes this crazy kind of show car called the Mako Shark. And it comes with this uh, shark looking features, you know, with the, uh, the dorsal fins and the pieces that are around it. And this car here was kind of cool in the sense that, first off, it's a convertible, okay? Secondly, it's matching numbers. It's a four speed, okay? It's got power windows, right? And the cool thing about it mostly is it can be made into a totally stock car by just replacing the front end. Or we could take it to the next level, take the luggage rack off and put the Mako Shark wing that goes on the back. So for you, if you love the look of a car like this uh, and that really turns you on, this would be a really cool car to finish up. Or if you like and you like this color or whatever, the fact is that uh, this front end comes off, we put the stock front end back on, and in the meantime, we can paint it whatever color you want. So, or we can leave it to stock here, all right? So much of it is original and it's been restored. So the engine's been rebuilt, the transmission's been rebuilt, the rear end's been done, the suspension's been done, it has a real power four-wheel disc brakes, it has power steering. Uh, and some of the great options that are on it too. But this is like this cool front end. And so uh, like the headlights are buried down inside there. Got that cool grill, neat looking bumper, very custom, very uh, 70s vintage looking also. Cause once this came out, you know, this really started a wave and a trend of customizing and modernizing um, uh, Corvettes. Uh, this is kind of cool. Cause everything here, look at this. It just tilts right up and locks in place just like the standard hood would, right? Got your 350, got the correct snorkel air cleaner there. You got your ignition shielding still on. So everything's kind of stock the way it was. And like I said, matching numbers. This goes right back like this. Okay, uh, we put a set of 17 inch wheels on it just to fill up the wheel wells a little bit. We can lower it some, or we uh, actually would even tell you that you could fit a set of 19s in the back which would look really cool on here, really feel the well wells and really give it that really tough looking stance and kind of finish it off. Okay, so part of the restoration included things like all new bumpers, emblems, uh, taillight bezels. Uh, this is a brand new luggage rack. The luggage rack can come off. They have colored plugs that go in. It's, it's almost uh, uh, not noticeable once those are in. If you wanted to, we could finish it up with uh, Mako rear spoiler here um, and finish up that whole kind of cool looking a Mako Shark show car look, or we could, like I said before, replace the front end. Uh, it's just with the hood and fenders, not that big a deal, okay? All right, let's check out the inside for a minute. We looked at the convertible top already. Uh, it's got a pretty decent sound system that says Corvette on it, all right? The inside has been restored. Got Corvette floor mats. Even little stuff like uh, a tilt wheel is nice. Seat belt light comes on, door jar light comes on. You say, well, why, why is that a big deal? Well, that's a big deal because, you know, 30 and 40 year old cars, it's difficult to make all that stuff work again. Um, power windows work nicely. Okay. And this I like because um, it still has a reverse lockout in it and you can't get the key out without it being in reverse. And that was the anti-theft feature. And again, another part that takes a, a lot of work to get that whole mechanical system working uh, 30 and 40 years later. Okay, new visors, dash pad, all that good stuff. Horn works, even little stuff like the footwell lighting works. And that's what I talk about, you know, it's, uh, it's the effort that goes into it. It's got a, a subwoofer in the back back here that's kind of hidden. Got seat belts, check out that. Storage compartments back there, place for your luggage. Don't forget too that this is a car that was an original AC car. The compressor's not there, um, uh, but looks to be everything else is there, including the controls here and the boxes and stuff like that. So uh, I don't think it would be a big deal to make it uh, uh, AC again. So I said in the video at the beginning that it was uh, an AC car uh, or air conditioned, meaning that it is original factory air conditioned car as proven by here and under the hood and stuff like that. So. Uh, Couple other things too, don't forget you got power four wheel disc brakes, uh, which is really nice. It's a pretty expensive option to add to cars uh, that didn't come with this. The Corvettes came standard with that. 
At least it came with uh, disc brakes. This comes with a power, full row disc brakes. This also has power steering, which is really nice. Um, what else are we talking about? Power windows, tilt wheel, the upgraded sound system. Uh, so there's a lot of nice little features that uh, it has on it that are, that are kind of cool. And one other thing too, you know, we talked about all the little stuff working. Although that's annoying, the reverse lockout's a little annoying. All that stuff works just like it's supposed to do, just like it did from the factory, which is kind of an idea of the restored car that you're getting. All right, how about I start it for you so you can hear what it sounds like? Closing up the video, we walked around, we looked at a lot of cool stuff on the car. Definitely a different looking vehicle. When it goes down the road, people's heads turn around uh, because it's uh, so, so interesting. If you love the idea of this uh, kind of show car front end, which was probably very expensive to do, uh, and wanted to finish up the back, we talked about that. That was an easy fix, not a big deal. Uh, and if you wanted to go back to just a stock car, uh, we could do that too. So either way, uh, not such a big deal. I think it's cool. I think it's uh, just a great driving car. And the fact that it's matching numbers uh, and a four-speed car uh, makes it even better. So if there's uh, any way you can get a Mako, Shock, Mako Shark Corvette convertible in your life, this is the one to get. Call us, 301-816-1000, and we'll tell you all about it.